I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Hi. Hello. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. How's it going, Goobers? Jay here, and thank you so much for letting me take that bit of a break. Today, I finally decided to get around to something I've been dying to get to, and that's to watch the Mandela catalog. If you are familiar and have been around for a little bit now, I played the Maple County indie horror game, I think in November or December, something like that. And oh my god, it was such a cool game. And I know that it was inspired by this, which is an analog horror that's been blowing up on the internet. So we have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to check out. Normally, I don't do react videos, so don't expect this to be a thing that I regularly do. It's fun to an extent, especially with things like this, but it's not my thing. I like experiencing and sharing my own things with you guys and uh, this is just an example of how we can creatively do that so I've never really done a reaction video before it's something new entirely to me so it's territory so bear with me if you haven't watched this already please watch it on your own and support the original creator that is Alex Kister on YouTube link in the description below to this video with that goofiness out of the way let's get on with the show and scream like a little baby Ooh. I already like where this is going we are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Okay. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate <laughs> exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical Ooh. to you, run away and hide. The one on the left has slightly longer lo Oh my god! A biologically impossible character. Yeah! Run away and hide. I like that this if one's just one upside down on the right. break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. Okay. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Uh-oh. Oh, interesting. Follow the think principle. Interesting. Let me pause real quick, because this is not just going to be me watching the video and screaming. I want to actually talk about what we're watching here. This isn't just gonna be like, oh, whoa, what is that? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's not creatively like enriching. This is why I don't do reaction videos. But I really wanna make an exception for this because this is such a cool concept. And I like, it, there are a lot of things on the internet that I love as far as like creative expression, storytelling, artwork, and just general horror like this. If you don't know me, I love the mystery flesh pit. I love SCP. The Mandela catalog is just the beginning here. And I, I loved the ideas that uh, the Maple County game presented to us that were inspired by the Mandela catalog. I am just all for anomalous, like, unknowable horror. And in this case, analog horror. And I gotta say, like, the way this is already presenting it is just genius. It's showcasing crazy, like, otherworldly entities living among us. And they're trying to make the best that they can with the information that they do have, which is very little. And just the simplified diagrams of, like, what you can expect an alternate to look like is just insane. This right here is so cool. That actually is terrifying. The simplicity of it and how we don't actually know what they would really look like is what makes it so cool. And this is something that I really appreciated about how it was expressed in the Maple County game. So yeah, anyway, tangent over. Let's go back to 130. Let's learn about the think principle. Authority figure about I didn't even the alternates movement hinder the alternates movement interesting I'm gonna say interesting a lot. I'm just gonna warn you guys identify the class type class type Neutralize the alternate if safe to do so Whoa, 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 whoa What? Okay, know your place in reality. Okay, interesting. I said interesting again. Let's put an interesting counter up. I guess that counts too. Know your enemy. Type 1, doppelganger. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is uncomfortable. 
Type 3. Did it just skip Type 2? Ooh! Oh, no! Oh, I hate it. Oh, no! No, no, no! That's bad. So the cracks are showing two and a half minutes in. This is not going to be like a standard informational video. Hold up. It went from going to like like a normal infographic to like straight up like this is where the analog horror really kicks in. Neutralize if safe to do though. Do so. Then that and then know your place in reality, right? And then it goes straight into showing these. These are alternates. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that looks like an angel from Evangelion. Yeah, okay, so I, th I think this is how the horror really kicks in. It's not just the presentation of it. It's, it's that the video itself breaks down into some crazy stuff. I've never actually watched- Oh, Victim 1, Victim 2. Mark Heathcliff and Cesar Torres. Oh. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you right? Yeah, it's not me. It's oh no. Mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. Oh no. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Well, she screamed really loud right before oh. I <laughs> I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Mm -mm. Maybe she saw something? I don't... I don't know. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't mm -mm. be too bad. He's I too comfortable with this. Out there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, because yeah, there's an alternate fine. living in it, I'm sure. One last thing. Try to get a good view of it. Uh. Oh, hi. Smiley boy. Uh, okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. Weird. His mom was definitely attacked. Oh, we get video! Are we gonna see an alternate running on all fours across the street? I'm not gonna really appreciate that. I'm gonna really unappreciate that if that happens. Just saying. Let's get that out of the way. Or see it standing in the distance. Oh, this is so creepy. That's what I like about this too, is it's 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 very much like found footage as well. And I am a sucker for found footage horror when done right, obviously. Oh no. It said they were both victims. So, is the sun gonna come back? Is Torres gonna come back? And get eaten by an alternate? Staring at a dark screen for a hot minute now. What am I waiting on? I'm scared. Oh, oh no, 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 Uh-uh. 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 I don't like this. I don't like this. We're gonna see it run across the screen. Is the car driving away? Did he get out? Hold on. Did he get out, or did he get replaced by an alternate? And, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Motion detected at 3.31 a.m. Recording start. That's different. That's very different. What is that? I don't know what I'm looking at there. Oh, I heard I heard a sound. Where is it? <gasps> oh, no, that changed. Oh, I don't like this. <gasps> oh, no. I god, uh, I I got goosebumps right now. I legitimately have goosebumps right now. Who are you? G get away from me! No! Whoa! No! 
It followed me home, Caesar. What followed you home? <laughs> me and Mark, I have a gift for you. you, you. I have a present. No. I have a surprise. I will not hurt you. Let me pause right there for just a breather. So the alternate followed Caesar back home. Sorry, Caesar Torres was the, the, the son who brought the mom to the hospital. I forgot the name of the other guy, though, that helped set up the cameras. He got followed back home. And you just hear this otherworldly voice that you can't fathom outside your door. I do not want to see what is on the other side. Yeah, neither do I. I actually really do. But it has been days. And nobody has come to help me. He's been stuck in his house for days. <laughs> no. You fucking bastard! Ah! Uh, bad decision, Mark. Why? Mark was his name. Did he just piss off the alternate? It's almost like the tape itself is an alternate. It's so anomalous and just messed up. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Hi. Hello. I don't want nothing to do with you. Please go away. Okay, nobody came for me. Oh, no. They got Mark. They got Mark. They got Mark. Viewing of the following footage is illegal and punishable by law if not previously cleared with your assistant. If you have access to this recording and are not part of your local authority, please stop the video and discard the tape immediately. Then why is it on YouTube? Oh, is this part of the video? Emergency call operator. While at the station, a situation may occur where the oh, local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. Interesting. I said it again! Stop! There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. I see. Police. When a caller needs the police, Send available personnel to the address. Okay. Fire. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighbor. I'm waiting for the third. It's either just going to straight up be a normal ambulance, the or they're going to be like, oh, hey, oh, alternate. Now I'm medical. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Okay. Oh. This is what my PC does every five minutes into a stream or a recording, Here by the way. At the Mandela County Police Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Oh! Oh, an encounter! Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. Why? No matter how frantic their screams are. Ooh, oh, no. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. And then blatantly lie to their face and never help. The call can be ended when they stop or Oh my god! Whoa, no! So their whole point is to just ignore that the that the alternates exist? You might accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Oh, there's tr okay, hold on, hold on. The whole point of this video. I, 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 if I'm reading into this correctly, assuming the video itself isn't to like throw you off and confuse you, is that you're not supposed to actually help people who have an alternate like encounter, even though it was kind of posed as such at the beginning. I thought the whole point is, is that you're supposed to like control the alternate threat, but you can't. We only have this botched training video to go off of. That's what makes it so cool and creepy. I don't even know if this video is from the context of a slightly altered, warped video affected by some alternate presence in itself or you're literally being advised to not help people in the event of an alternate attack record your child's responses to the following media what 
Oh my god, baby alternates? Oh no! Oh, that's wacky. Word response to that audio. Okay. Okay. I'm waiting for the creepy one. I mean, this is creepy, but... Me too. Yep. Daddy didn't tuck me in. Okay. I hate it when daddy doesn't tuck me in. There's a man in the cloud. Oh, no, I don't like that either. Oh, no. A scary Night by Mark, age four. Mark? That was the guy... School Mandela Academy... Or uh, elementary. Elementary school, fourth grade. 4K? What? I, I'm misreading everything. Daddy didn't check under my bed last night. I hate it when daddy doesn't check under my bed last night. What? So I went to mommy's room. Are mommy and daddy in separate rooms? I was scared there was scary knocking on the door. Okay. Good punctuation. And the scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. Ooh. Ooh. Are you being stared at? Oh, I hate that. Yeah. That's great. Almost at mommy's room. Then I saw the man in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> the face. Oh god. And then I fell asleep. The end. Oh no, 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 no. You can't leave it at that. That was so open-ended. Section two. And we're still in the toddler section, right? Meow. That's a meow. Uh okay. Are we gonna see an alternate cat? Balloon? That's a doorway. Nothing to see here, though. It's fine. No. 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 No! No! I don't like that. An intruder. Yeah, well, yeah, I've played enough observation duty to know what an intruder is. This is that! Mm-mm. Watch you complete. If anything unexpected occurred during the test, let your eye advisor know. That was the end. What, right? Special thanks to the analog horror community for your own- Hell yeah! Alex Kister! I know you're not going to watch this. I'm nobody. But dude, that was incredible. That this is so cool. And I can't wait to watch part 2. I seriously am very excited for that. That's that that's that's incredible. I'm so glad I finally got around to doing that. I haven't watched anyone watch that. I've only played uh Maple County and saw like like screen grabs of this this video, but I've never actually watched it for myself. And to finally see it the coolest thing ever because it absolutely blew up on the internet back in like what november ish this is so up my alley this is 1000 percent like my favorite brand of horror not just the the analog horror itself but also like the anomalous unknowable horror that i talked about at the beginning of this video and our, our watch through of it and and just, just the mystery of it and almost like uh i think the biggest part of what makes it so effective is that we're dealing with what is effectively an unreliable narrator. Now, that is one of my favorite and craziest tropes in writing and storytelling in general. I wouldn't even call it... I guess it's a trope, but it's not done a lot in popular media. The unreliable narrator can come in the form of the training tape itself, which we just watched, but also in the form of, like, an actual literal speaker. That's what makes the Mandela Catalog here so effective to me. If you guys want a full breakdown, I'm happy to do more. I don't really know what I can say that hasn't already been said beyond what I've just said, basically. And yeah, if you guys want to see me watch through the second part, again, I'm going to heavily edit it so it's not just like a carbon copy of the video and I'm just... Ooh, what is that? I want to actually talk about it and discuss these things. So I'll probably add more and go further into it with volume two. I want to embrace it and explore what makes it so cool. Thank you all, seriously. I appreciate your time. Thank you again for letting me take this break for the past few weeks. It's been... Been rough IRL, but things are getting better, and I will see you all in the next video. Hopefully, I'll be back to a regular schedule coming next week. <laughs> so, yeah. Love ya. Bye-bye.